with Brunel on the mound today. He is 13th star, 2.67 is at ERA. The whip is very good at 1.02, and he's holding the opponent to a 178 batting average. Ball lofted in the right. Coming on is Trey Cabbage, and he'll make the play on the run for the first out of this one. Call third strike. Hey, that was a close one with two strikes that goes Blanco's way. And that's a swing, and what a start for Rennell. Ten pitches, nine strikes. Rennell often racing on this Father's Day. Astros can expect to see almost everything from Maeda. Yeah, he's got quite the arsenal, and he has a lot of experience against the Astros, mostly in the postseason. Altuve shoots one past Cole Keith into center field. Jose has a base hit to start this one, hit number 86 on the year. So that'll bring up Alex Bregman riding a 16 game hitting streak. Goes after the first one and skies it in the shallow center. Matt Beerlin comes on and puts it away. You're not DHing today after being in left field the first two games of the series. That one's down now. Tube with a good look at that pitch. Takes advantage by advancing to second base. But a wild pitch moves out Tube in a scoring position. And he hooks one into right field for a base hit. Being waved around is out Tube. Here comes the throw by Perez. It'll be cut off. One nothing Astros. Jordan Alvarez puts the Astros in front on this Father's Day Sunday. Diaz into right center. Both outs in the inning have been to center field on one pitch, and here's Singleton. That shot up the middle, hits Maeda. He'll go over field and flip to first and then go down. Wow, that was a bullet off the bat of Jonathan Singleton, and it, I believe, hit Kenta Maeda in the right leg. We're going to start your season being a no hitter. I think that really solidified that that changeup was going to be a good pitch for Ronel Blanco. Easing back on it, McCormick, he's there waiting. And squeezes it for out number one. Round this one to first. Singleton will use Rennell covering. No problem there for the second out. Softly hit. Payne is going to have to charge. He does and makes a strong throw to end the inning. Another one, two, three inning for Rennell Blanco. He is looking good early. Dubon is the best contact hitter on this team. But his numbers against Maeda, 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. He puts this one in play and he does a doobie thing. Just drops one into left field. Continue that hitting streak. First time he's put a ball in play against Kipta Maeda, and he drops it a single to left. Altuve waits on deck, and that one is in ball four. Chaz draws a four-pitch walk. Altuve didn't have any other hits in his career against Maeda other than that home run until his first inning single. He's now two for ten against Kipta. And Altuve hits it in the air to left center fairly deep. It sends back Fearling onto the warning track in front of the fence, and that ball is gone. And it's a three-run homer for Jose Altuve and a 4 nothing Astros lead. Jose Altuve, just a game five of the World Series, hits a three-run shot against Maeda. 4 nothing lead for the Astros, top of the third. Ronel Blanco's retired the first six batters he's faced. Here's Akil Badu. Off the glove, perfectly played by Ronel. Almost like he directed that baseball to Altuve. Worked out well for Ronel. Got him. Renal Blanco picking up his third strikeout and retired the first eight. There's two away in the third. And he gets a strikeout with the changeup. Renal Blanco kisses the glove on his way off the mound. He has looked very sharp today. He has gone through the first nine hitters in order. Uh, Ronel Blanco in his eighth career start. He goes nine innings, walks two, no hits allowed, 105 pitches. And he swings over the top of it, slider low and in. Fifth strikeout for Blanco, 10 up, 10 down. And that's a hard shot right at the shortstop Pena, and a perfect throw to first base gets him. Watching Ronell Blanco deal so far today as he picks up another strikeout. Ronell with six strikeouts in the game, a 10 pitch inning, and he has looked outstanding. Four perfect so far for Ronell. 12 up, 12 down so far for Ronell Blanco. Ronel Blanco delivers a slider for a strike on the outside corner to Mark Hanna, and that's how we start the fifth inning. And there's another strike with another slider, that one at the top of the zone. Quickly 0-2 to Canna. Swing and a miss. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, Mark Hanna. Three sliders all in different spots. That last one darted down and away. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Change up fading away. There's nothing in one to the left-handed hitter. Swing and a miss. Keith almost went down to one knee on that vicious slider down and in. It seems like Blanco's stuff is getting sharper. Swing and a foul tip held on to by Diaz. Man, he just took Cole Keith to school. Eight strikeouts for Blanco, two away. Two-thirds of the way to an immaculate inning. 
first one off the plate takes away the chance of an immaculate inning. It's 1 0 to Urshela. He'll be the first walk. Rennell just missed with 95, so after two strikeouts on three pitches each, a walk with two away. That one's going to get away from Yiner Diaz and allow Urshela to move to second base. So a walk and a wild pitch putting the Tigers' first runner in scoring position. Just off the plate, maybe a little high. That'll be back to back walks allowed by Blanco. Just below the zone for a third consecutive walk. So two strikeouts on a total of six pitches. Two thirds the way towards an immaculate inning, and now he's walked the next three. That'll draw a visit from Josh Miller. Yeah, these aren't exactly the guys that you're worried about. So Rennell, after two strikeouts, has now walked the bases loaded. Bases loaded, two outs, and Zach McKinstry the batter. Into center, playable. Chaz McCormick is going to help Rennell strand the bases loaded. So Blanco walks the bases loaded, but gets out of it. And has completed five no hit innings. Yeah, after a 25 pitch fifth inning in which he walked the bases loaded with two out, the only base runners for the Tigers today who are still seeking their first hit. Top of the six, Astros lead the Tigers 4 0. Ronel Blanco's first pitch is hit in the air by Wenzel Perez, shallow right, coming in cabbage, waiting for it, and he squeezes it for out number one. Wow, drop out of it by Ronel. He kind of looked at his glove and realized the out had already been made as he. Reacted quickly to that line drive. This one into right. Trey Cabbage coming on. Today, the Tigers have 19 fewer hits so far than they had yesterday. 80 pitches so far for Renault Blanco here in the seventh inning. No hits for Detroit. Ground ball to short. Two hops for Jeremy Pena. One out to seventh. Little tapper towards third. Alex Bregman has it. Two away. Little tapper, Bregman charges, gloves, throws, and it's just wide. John Singleton couldn't make the play. Gio Urshela will reach and will await the scoring decision. Fans at Minute Maid Park cheer the scoring decision, which is an error on Alex Bregman. Al Keel Badu drew a walk his last time up. This ball set in the air to center field. Hit pretty well. Back on it goes Chaz. He is at the warning track and he will put it away in front of the wall. Seven innings, four base runners, three walks and an error. Astros lead this game. On to the eighth we go. Renel Blanco's afternoon is done. Ryan Presley taking over, facing Carson Kelly. And this one popped up. Altuve out, coming in. The new right fielder. Chaz McCormick has to avoid Altuve, who makes an over the shoulder catch. McKintree sends one to left. Mauricio Dubon will back up a step or two and put it away for the second out. Two down for Perez. Perez center field McCormick's not going to get there there won't be a no hitter today Presley allows a single to Wenzel Perez skied in the air shallow center field Jake Myers coming on and that'll do it for the Tigers in the eighth one hit one left on we're going to head to the bottom of the eighth Astros lead this game for nothing might be the finisher we haven't gotten him too many closing opportunities <laughs> 10 on the year and he's converted nine of them there's the pitch at the bottom of the zone that doesn't fool Lance Barrett as he picks up a strikeout of Riley Green for the first out into right center that's a base hit so the Tigers have some life here Canna is on and Ibanez is going to hit Ibanez in the air left field Dubon is back at the track and the wall he jumps he's not going to make the catch it's a 4-1 ball game as Ibanez doubles in the ninth 3-2 Ground ball softly hit left side. Pena to his right. He has it. Throws on the move to first in time to retire Urshela. Got him. Ball game over. Astros win it 4-1. Pena with a strikeout to end the game. 